Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on April 3rd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to a quick video update here. As we did have a very large low pressure system scooting across North America, sprouting widespread tornadoes and watches and warnings, flood watches and warnings. This low pressure system almost had an eye like a hurricane last night. When it hit the tip of Lake Superior, there was a definition uh, center of that low pressure system. And literally that, the frontal line from this system stretches all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. And overnight last night, you could almost see that there was a funnel rope along the boundary line. And that's visible here on satellite imagery. You can see it happen just south or off the coast of Florida here. This is happening now. This is extreme weather that will be sweeping across the panhandle of Florida. But you can see it right there on the tip of Florida. The vortex spinning around under that boundary line of moisture. See it spinning there overnight. How it turns over and funnels the clouds over and over and then the daylight comes back. And these systems get fired up as soon as that sun rises. And that's going to continue on all day. So heads up, uh, Florida, South Florida, and Georgia, all across the eastern United States as the system sweeps through. As we're seeing up to hurricane force winds. And speaking of hurricanes, you know, there's there was mention a few years back by myself saying that they're probably going to have to scale up the hurricane scale. And now mainstream media has been talking about it. Meteorologists are a little bit concerned that they may have to. Looking at our upper level winds right now. Across the northern hemisphere. Very erratic jet stream. Coming from the Pacific. Straight in through the Gulf of California. Grabbing warm moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and shooting it straight up into the North Atlantic jet stream. Yes, climate change is real. It is happening. As to why that is still a question, all I know is that it's time to leave Earth and there's a reason why Elon Musk and Bezos want to get off, go to Mars. There's reasons why Agenda 2030 was developed back in 2015 because our governments know what is coming. This is our Southern Hemisphere polar vortex right now. Upper level winds depicting the vortex versus the northern hemisphere. Still looks a little bit compressed, especially with the tight winds around the trade wind areas in the equator. But there's quite a transition between this year and last year at this time. Just look at the Pacific, 2024, March 3rd, March 4th versus last year at this time. 2024, see all those equatorial winds moving to the right. And as well, just note all the different layers from the equator being affected by both polar vortexes. There we go. Now the equator winds from last year are moving in the opposite direction. So there's quite a transition versus last year, last year and this year. And now let's get to earthquakes here quickly because I did want to share that this situation in Taiwan is continuing as there's been multiple aftershocks through the region reporting about 20 to 25 earthquakes after that large 7.4 magnitude earthquake. We had a couple deep earthquakes there through Fiji. Not too much to worry about. Most of the energy is popping here in Taiwan. Having a look at USGS, 278 earthquakes in the 24-hour period, but looks, look, looks to be about 20 to 25 aftershocks after the 7.4 and then a 6.4 Julian City 
one on the coast and then off the coast. Something slipped here, big time. Multiple aftershocks on and off the coastline here, stretching and moving north-northeastward. There were reports of a 30-centimeter tsunami wave through the region, but there was no tsunami watch or threat across the Pacific Ocean. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that was affected by this large earthquake. Videos are popping up all over the place of the devastation. So, again, no tsunami warning watch or advisory, but the buoys did go into event mode slightly here. Through Mariana's Trench. So, heads up, everybody. Much love. Please share this video with your friends and family. See you for next update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily tune.